Well, good morning, folks. It's Ron Bishop from Timaru, New Zealand, here again. Every day I come online, I, I uh, tell my story. I'm telling my life story. Uh, I'm writing a bit of a diary. I do videos. And um, today is another video. I missed out yesterday. I was too busy. Um, but anyway, I'm here today, and I'm, I've got something on my mind I want to share with you. But first of all, <coughs> a little background. We've just had local body elections here, and there were two men that stood for mayor. One was Damon Odie, and one was Steve Earnshaw. Steve Earnshaw is a pommy. He's been out in New Zealand about 10 years, and he came out as a surgeon. He's at the hospital. He, he works at the hospital as a surgeon. And he gave up his private practice to stand for mayor, you see, in Timaru. And he lost. And now he's saying he's going to uh, review his future and giving indication that he might stand down from the council because he was elected onto the council, you see. But I think he's got the pricker and he wants to pull out. Anyway, there's been a bit in the paper about it, and I wrote a letter to the Timaru Herald about the situation. This is what I wrote. Dear Sir, Editor Timaru Herald, Dear Sir, Steve Earnshaw, I am afraid I am not in a position to judge the personality of Timaru District Councillor Steve Earnshaw because each time that I have attempted to make personal contact with the man, he has avoided me. Having had the experience of standing for Mayor in two elections, this year I chose to watch from the sideline with interest. Both Earnshaw and Odie had a lot to offer in terms of experience, except that Councillor Earnshaw made the vital mistake of choosing his deputy, Tracy Turney, before she was elected onto the council. I feel this was his major mistake because most people want to vote for an individual, not a self-appointed team. If Councillor Earnshaw quits from local politics after he has lost his bid to become the mayor, it will be an indication that his reason for standing in the first place was for his own personal career and not in the interests of the community. Signed, Ron E. Bishop, New Zealand promoter and motivator. Yeah, I sent that to the Herald yesterday, yesterday morning, quite early, because I, I was expecting it to be in the Timber Herald today, which is Saturday. But it's not there, and let me go and show you why it's not there. Come with me. Have your say. This is the front. This is the uh, opinion page of the Timaru Herald, Saturday, second, two thousand and thirteen, November the second, two thousand and thirteen. A big box pipe dream. This man is called Grant Shimon. Shimon. He's the he's the deputy editor of the Timaru Herald, and here he is over here again. He's got more to say over here. Now. There is no letters to the editor in this paper today. Not one. They're asking us to have our say, but when I send my letter in, they won't print it. This is all about themselves. It's all about people. Their opinion, the Timaru Herald's opinion. Nothing to do with the public opinion. No, because it's all about them. Isn't it, Mr. Shimon? I did a video the other day praising the Timur Herald. Said what a great newspaper it was. And gave them some publicity. And I expected them to, to, uh, to print my letter. But no, didn't do it. So how the hell can you save a newspaper? I'm really worried about this Timur Herald. I think it's going to, I think it's going to fold. I've asked the, the uh, Fairfax B Media, who own the thing, I've asked them to sack the editor because he's not promoting, he's not publishing letters to the editor. There's some been very good letters written to the editor. I know a lot of people who write, but they've given up. They've given up writing letters to the editor because the bloody Herald won't print them. They're, they're filling the page up with their own opinion. I'm sorry, Timur Herald, but you're going to have to fold. If you don't start getting the, the public involved and listening to their opinion, 
you're going to fall over and you'll all be out of a job. Don't say I didn't warn you.